Hey guys, welcome to Code the Unseen. In today's video, we'll talk about SQL joins and union. So let's start with why SQL joins and unions are important for a data scientist or an analyst. Imagine you have movie data spread across multiple tables like movie details, genre and rating. How can you combine these tables to gain a holistic view of a movie database? This is where SQL join and unions come in, a powerful tool to merge data from different tables. In SQL, joins are used to combine rows from two or more tables based on related columns. There are different types of joins like left join, right join, inner join, cross join, etc. etc. Each serving a unique purpose. Let's go through them one by one. First up, left join. This retrieves all rows from the left table and only matching rows from the right table. If there is no match, the null values are returned. So let's uh, say we have a table within test schema name table A and these are the values present within it. Wherein you can see there is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then there is table B to which I want to join. So here table A will act as a left table and table B will be a right table which have value 1, 2, 3, 5, 5, 6, 6. Now let's say I want to join both the table on left join using left join. So my syntax will be this and let's execute it. We received 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 was a null value then 5 and 6. So we received all the values from left table and matching values with right from the right table and then there is null against four right because it's not present in table b let's double check it so there is one two three five and six so that's how left join works oh uh, let's jump on to right join right join is exactly similar to left join it includes all the record from right table and only matches record from the left table so it's uh, it works exactly the same but in reverse manner. For example, uh, I uh, what you have to do is you have to just replace left with right and the remaining syntax will remain same. Now if you will execute it, you will see you will receive values as per table B not per table A. So all the values present in B and the matching values present in table A. Here we don't have 4 in the output right because there wasn't a 4 in B table. Then comes inner join. Inner join works as an intersection. What it does is it's exactly uh, you can say gives you the output which is available in both the table, excluding the values which is not present in either of the table. So to summarize, this returns only common rows that exist in both the table. And here you can see the values. 4 is not present in any of the tables. That's why the output for inner join is excluding 4. So these were uh, left, right and inner join. Let's jump on to cross join. It returns a Cartesian product of two tables, meaning every row from table A is paired with every row from table B. So the syntax for cross join is this, wherein we have selected all the values or what you can even do is you can simply select a dot id or a id and b id independently and then cross join it so this syntax is somewhat similar you just need to replace right with cross and remove the on clause and then order it based on one and two which is ids of a and b uh, so here you can see each row of table a is joined with each row of table b now comes natural join. It automatically joins tables on columns with the same name and data type. Works like a inner join, but without specifying column name. So if you'll see the syntax here, we are selecting table A and then applying a natural join on table B, but we haven't uh, applied on clause wherein you generally define which particular IDs or which particular columns you want to join both the tables on, right? 
so uh, if we'll execute it you will see we don't have four uh, within this wherein historically we saw that uh, in table a there was four but in table b it wasn't and that's uh, na what natural join does it generally act as a inner join so both the values present within the id columns of table a and b will be displayed without specifying the on clause that's the major difference between other joins and natural join so we saw almost all the types of joins just wanted to call out a common mistake done by candidates in the interview candidates often explain joins using venn diagrams but forget a crucial detail what happened if the joining column contained duplicate values the answer to this is you will always get a duplicate output and let's take example of left join here so in both the tables like in table a and table b uh, in table a one was the repeating values uh, means the duplicate value and in table b we have 5 and 6 as a duplicate value when we uh, perform the left join using b dot id and uh, a dot id we got the duplicate output and this is the most common mistake done by candidates answering that you will get a unique values as output so don't make this mistake let's understand union and how union are different from joins both joins and unions are used to combine data from multiple tables but they work in completely different ways join combines columns from multiple table based on related columns works horizontally or you can say it generally used to add columns whereas union combines rows from multiple select queries into a single result you can say it works vertically or generally adds rows so there are two different uh, forms of applying union one is just by uh, writing a function union whereas the second clause is union all so the major difference is union will always give you a distinct set of output whereas union all will give you the duplicate output without uh, remove removing duplicate set you can say that now let's quickly look how you can use union to combine table a and table b so we have a uh, table a here and i want to combine it with uh table b so i will simply paste this value and change the table name to p and apply union and here you will see you have received all the unique values from the output of table a and table b once you combine it using union you remove the duplicates now there is one drawback of using union on larger data set it generally scans the both the table and then compares the unique values or you can say compare all values and eliminate the duplicate value and that's why it's slower in comparison to union all which generally uh, appends both the table or combine both the table and here you'll get the duplicate values as well here is a quick recap of everything we covered today from joins to union and the difference between union and union all and that's a wrap If you found this helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more SQL tutorial comment below if you'd like sample data to test these join yourself see you in the next video till then keep coding the unseen